Hello and welcome to the Beach Birmingham, which is another fun fair here. Uh, I'm about to go on Wild Mouse, which is the Revachon Wild Mouse coaster here. Um, there's a good lineup of rides, including Air, which is a Zero Star shape and top spin um, over there. Um, I'm looking forward to getting on those two brand new flat rides for me, um, but I'm going to start off with a ride on Wild Mouse.
So, this is my 14 year old son about to be flung up into the air and spun around. He loves it, I hate it. It'll always be my baby. Oh no. Absolutely bloody not. No, no, no. No, 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 I don't like it.
and that wraps up this vlog from the beach Birmingham in Smithfield uh, it's not too far um, from the ball ring it's just over um, that direction and when you see the fun fair um, there actually is clear signposts to go right um, and then it leads around to the entrance um, so it, it, it's it's got a really good lineup and um, the two biggest flat rides top spin and air um, new flat rides for me uh, obviously the top spin and the um, zero star shape um, the top spin is um, a northern amusement ride and of course air is zero um, they're both really good in their own right um, I don't really know which one I prefer I want to say top spin uh, it's a lot more rough around the edges and it's a bit more brutal um, so many inversions in a couple of different completely different cycles both times I went on there um, the first one had a lot more spins upside down um, in inversions the second time it locked um, and um, spun around a couple of times that way um, so there's a lot more hang time when you get hang time on there it's not the most comfortable because obviously with it having an over the shoulder and a lap bar separate the lap bar digs into your legs a bit um, with the hang time um, but it's a bit more sort of rough around the edges whereas air um, is quite nice it's, it's a lot smoother uh, it's a lot more whippy um, than real real hang time or sort of a little bit of force with the whip on there um, but it's so smooth it's a lovely floaty sensation as you go over you can take in the views of the across the city um, and obviously there's that sort of moment uh, where you stall at the top and it slows down so you're just spinning around you get a bit of a breather before you drop down uh, I only got one inversion I think both times I went on it um, because it sort of swings around again uh, but it's quite whippy and it's um, quite intense as you, you drop into those um, uh, you drop into uh, as it swings around um, you, when you sort of drop into it sideways and you get pushed to the side of the seat um, um, so yeah two really good flat rides and of course in between those you've got Starfly which is a really really good Starfly attraction um, a relatively long cycle on there um, going around uh, it starts sort of at the just under halfway point and then it makes it all the way to the top um, but it was a, a decent cycle uh, it's quite co uh, windy up there uh, at the top um, and it sort of takes your breath away a bit as, as you're actually up there as much as it's um, sort of a, a sort of more relaxing ride it does um, have some quite intense elements because of the height up there um, I actually find looking down is better you can take in some views of top spin um, and air because when I was on there air was actually an, uh, in a cycle um, top spin hasn't had many cycles I was on the first two cycles of the day because um, it doesn't really have many cycles because what I noticed a lot of the rides here they wait for them to be to have quite a few people on um, till they start the cycle so the runaway train I was sat on there for ages before it started going uh, but it, it was a nice little family coaster a little bit rough that one a little rough sort of Goobin Park mine train coaster um, but it, it wasn't the smoothest one but it, it's a coaster um, I'm glad there's, there's two coasters here um, Wild Mouse was pretty good um, not too much spinning on there um, but um, the drops I've got quite a bit of air time uh, it's probably got more air time on this than any of the other rides um, and you got Orbiter which was um, quite, probably the most forceful ride actually it's running a really good decent length cycle as well um, so yeah it's been a great lineup and the, of course the carousel uh, which I did last um, was a quite a long cycle on there um, and it, it's just a nice traditional very old sort of carousel this one um, but that was quite nice um, quite a long cycle um, but I think a lot of the rides have been quite long cycles um, or at least a decent length um, with top spin and air obviously not being the longest but um, but 
plenty of, um, of intense elements on them. Uh, and the runaway train had quite a few. I don't actually know how many laps was on there, but there was quite a few, um, which was good, even though it was quite rough. But I, I, I like the fact there's a few laps on there. Um, yeah, it's quite hard to decide which one my favourite ride out of air and top spin. Uh, they're my favourite rides here. Um, I want to say top spin because there's more hang time, but then it's not as comfortable. Air's a lot more comfortable, a lot smoother. Um, and you get a sort of nice floaty sensation. So two brand new flat rides. It's definitely worth coming here just for these two because top spin's actually the only top spin left in the country. Um, so yeah, two really good flat rides and then a great lineup to go along with that. There was also uh, Music Express as well, which was um, another great flat ride. Uh, it was running quite fast. It really did pick up some speed that uh, as well. Not the smoothest one, but um, so it's a little bit rough, um, but um, but it, it was quite fast and it did build up some speed. So that's another flat ride here. Uh, it's a New Music Express. Um, it's a different one to the one I went on at um, Winter Funland for Super Bob there. Um, it's got a similar theme with the um, sort of wintry look to it. Um, but yeah, so that's another great flat ride and quite a fast uh, Music Express to go along with the great selection of flat rides and of course two coasters that they've got here as well. 